Kelly for Live Video Inc., an actor's reporter, and we are at AFM 2013. This is the 34th annual AFM American Film Market being held at the Lowe's Hotel in Santa Monica, and Kevin Kent, who is here to talk about Life's an Itch. It is, and it has been, and it shall be. Nice. And now you're messing with an itch? <laughs> or was it a son of a... Never mind. Well, yeah, son, yeah. Of a, son of an itch. Son of an exactly. Itch. So this is a romantic comedy. It is. And you wrote it, you directed it, and produced it. That's correct. That's Did correct. you also star in it? No, no, okay, no. I have face for radio. It's, okay. I can't go there. No. Okay. But it's very funny. It's a very engaging movie. And it was written about that, that premise of what do you do if your wife's hot yoga teacher shows up during the week that your wife's on vacation? Take lessons? <laughs> Bend over backwards. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. That brings a whole new meaning to the downward dog. Is it? Is we it have some dog? downward dog jokes. Okay. We have to Good. have those. Everybody does. Okay. Um, so, this film, who is in it? Uh, Ali Cobran from mm -hmm. American Reunion is the hot yoga girl. Yes. And she truly is. And she's a natural at it. And she's a natural at it. Okay. Um, her yoga coach in the movie was Jesse Golden, who's like one of the number one yoginis. New yoginis? Word, word of the day. Can we find this in dictionary.com? <laughs> I found it when I started casting Yoginis. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Rossi Morielli is the male counterpart to her. To, to her, he plays the husband. Okay. Andrea Bogart plays the wife, and she's beautiful and wonderful in the yes, movie. She as well. is in the trailer I saw. Yes. And uh, uh, we had Kathleen Quinlan as the, the evil mother in law. Okay. And. Uh, uh, Alex Viadov uh, was in it as well, and uh, it, it was you know, to the the movie is, is getting released in January, okay. and and to this day I still get people writing me from the from the cast telling me what a great time they had doing this movie, and it was very funny. And I, as a director, I kind of let people, you know, expound a bit on things, and and even the DP and I had some 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 funny moments when he says, you know, when she falls over here, why don't we put a banana down there? I said, well, he's not going to slip on the banana. He goes, no, no, we'll just put the banana down there anyhow. I mean, we had a great time making this movie, and. Uh, you know, we made it, you know, in AFM style, and we made it so fast, it was kind of shocking. Um, we had 10 days. And you shot this on red? And we shot two reds. Oh. That's where I got smart. Nice. We do the cross and the right. close at the same time. And uh, the DP with Morgan Freeman was absolutely brilliant with, with you know, manipulating all that. And Morgan and, Freeman was? Not Morgan Freeman. You, you mentioned Morgan Freeman <laughs> earlier. Morgan Schmidt, he'll kill me. I didn't me. know he was doing he'll, editing He'll kill now. me for that. Yes. <laughs> no, I was telling yeah. him that I was cast for a role to be a Morgan Freeman this morning. <laughs> which I, we look alike, similar. But uh, it, it really was a wonderful experience all the way through. And, and I did say to the cast the very first day as a director, I said, okay, so now you know how, as an actor, you normally wait for that, that third or fourth take to really give it everything? Yes. I said, if you wait for that, it probably won't be in the movie because we got to be getting first and second takes. And at first, everybody looked at me like I was completely nutty, first-time director, what the hell are you saying? But once we got on that role and once people stepped up to that level, I could not believe the execution uh, of the of the script and the execution of the of the roles. It's just amazing. It was just it was a fabulous experience, and I thank all my cast and crew because um, obviously, without their buying into that whole idea of shooting a movie in ten days, and I only really had to tell my AD one time to take a flying leap, but he was kept me on going the whole time. And, nice. Uh, and it was amazing. I mean, we shot a feature in ten days that looks like a five million dollar movie. It wasn't. Um, and uh, in editing, there were times when I wish I had a second or third or fourth take, but uh, because we were shooting two cameras and both guys were really, really on their game, uh, it was very successful. And as you saw by the trailer, it looks it's great. Very polished. So on the film, there will be the director's cut somewhere in the future <laughs> so we can see all the outtakes? Because I have a feeling there's going to be some There were some very ones. fun outtakes. And, uh, in fact, one of the funniest things, uh, Irina uh, Varenia is in the movie, and she's been in a lot of movies. And right. She plays the hot, blonde Russian girl. And there was one scene where she comes down the water slide, and her top falls off, and one of the comedians comes up with in her in her mouth. <laughs> now, I didn't know what a great comedian she was, because we'd be standing around, you know, like after the after lunch, and she'd go, do I take my top off now? And I go, no, 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 no. Do I take my top off now? And it was the running joke, whatever. But but she was she was great and beautiful. And Jesse Golden needs to be mentioned, because she was... She she kind of worked through the whole yoga routine because right. we do have a you know five or six minute yoga routine of the hottest yoginis you've ever seen while the whole party scene is being set up. It's since it's since I don't know the definition of that word, what is a yogini? Uh, a very hot yoga girl. I see. Versus Woman. just a yoga 
person. participant. Yeah, there's there's yoga people, uh -huh. and then there's yoginis. I see. Yeah, and the yogini adds the extra hotness. Now, of course, all the yoga people in the world are going to write me nasty grams for saying this, but that's what I or discovered. Or they're going to love it. That's what I discovered. Yes. <laughs> that the yogininess was in full rage in your film? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. to speak. Yeah. So, how many films have you done over the years? This was my first film. So, I, you're a virgin filmmaker. Well, not anymore. Okay. Well, you were. And, yeah, yes. and I, now I know a lot of yoginis as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've, I've written 15. I've had, okay. I've had multiple ones sold, scripts sold, never get made. And uh, I, a couple of years ago, I'd sold a company. I said, okay, this is it. I'm just going to go make this damn movie one way or the other. Okay. And uh, I always knew I was a director. Congratulations. And sure enough. I love to give orders. <laughs> Do this now. <laughs> so what's the next one going to be? The next one's called Buster and Sarah, mm -hmm. and it's about a guy who's 75 years old in a retirement home, and his imaginary friend from when he was six shows back up. Really? And it's very, it's, I kind of, I'm equal opportunity offender for yes. all races, religions, and creeds, and uh, he's a angry elderly guy. And unlike this movie where I really, I mean, it's a very low-budget movie on right. Life's an Itch, and I still got some great talent in it, but this next movie, I, I want to get seven seniors who are all Academy Award winners. Oh, and nice. I'm, and I'm out pitching and grinning right now and getting financing. And uh, it's a, it's going to be a, it's going to be one of those movies, you know, like like a Best Marigold or right. or the the Quartet, or whatever. It's going to be one of those movies that just keeps growing, and it's we'll go after an underserved market. But okay. I want I want you know the, my greatest security as a as a as a newbie director yeah. is to have fantastic talent. That always helps. You know, it kind of makes you look good. It makes no the job what. easy. And that's what I thank my my crew or my my cast and Life's an Itch is they really pulled it off and made me look like I knew what I was doing, which by the end of the movie I did. Right. Um, and this next movie, I think, this next movie we're going to shoot in New Orleans as well, which is going to be fun. Nice and tax uh, incentive there also. Yeah, but I, you know, I have these seven people picked out that I'm going for the smart table within the, the, uh, the senior area there. The and inner it's, circle. And the inner circle, and it's, and it's really a crafty. People read the script, and they cry. I mean, it's really a heartfelt movie. Oh, about I thought you said this is a comedy. Why are people it crying? It is a comedy. It's a, it's a comedy that will make a, you cry. It's a serious comedy. I see. <laughs> a black, dark, serious comedy with a country twist. Okay, got yeah. it. Actually, got you know, there's three I'm trying to get funded concurrently right now, and I'll shoot them back to back in New Orleans. That's okay. The plan. Again, red cameras all the way through to get the highest quality. And, and New Orleans is because of the tax incentive, or you like the Creo and things? Like I that. like the Creole and all okay. that stuff, and uh, there's no yogini for a Creole, but, but I love the environment, and for these particular movies, one's a music uh, about an inner city kid who's going deaf, okay. and a um, uh, great place to, to merge hip-hop and New Orleans music, right? So I've got some of that in there, and I'm working with a producer down there named Carlos Stevens, mm -hmm. um, and I've also recently gotten that script to a, a Smith family here in California, mm -hmm. and uh, so I'm, I'm out, you know, trying to... I, I get it now. You've got to have the great big talent in there. You're not going to not going to really go wide with the movie. And I'm I'm appreciative for what I've got right now with the distribution with Monarch for my existing movie. For life's an itch. But I want like everybody else. I want to have the big theatrical with the you know with the great cast and and really have a movie that makes a statement and stands the test of time. We wish you a huge success with that. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for joining us, Kevin. I'm Kurt Kelly for Live Video Inc. and Actors and Reporter. We'll be back with more from AFM 2013, the 34th year, in just a moment.